Go. All right, James, so uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you been here? I've uh, been here since the beginning. We opened 17 months ago. Uh, uh, came over from another restaurant, Southside Market in Elgin, Texas. Been doing barbecue for about 25 years. Okay. Uh, how long have you, uh, how, sorry. So tell us a little bit about how Style Switch got started. Style Switch is the, 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 the child of Shane Styles. He loves barbecue and uh, Lance Kirkpatrick. Uh, Pitmaster, Taylor, Texas. Uh, two collaborated together, brought me on. That's how it got started. So, how long have you been in the barbecue business all together? All together, a little over 25 years. Okay. So, how about, I'm going to say this I've been in the barbecue business for about 25 years. Okay. I've been in the barbecue business for about 25 years. Okay. Great. So, um, talk about the success Style Switch has had in the last. Uh, couple of years since you've been open? Uh, we have had great success since we've been open. Uh, started out a little slow, like normal restaurants do, but it quickly picked up after the first or second month. Uh, we started, people just got to know where we were and been coming in ever since. What do you, what do you love about barbecue in Texas? I love beef. I love brisket. I love beef ribs. Those are my favorite two things. Uh, what do you what do you see that your customers request the most when they come in? They request now the beef. The customers request the beef ribs and the pork ribs. Okay. Uh, so, talk a little bit about the cut of meat. Um, and you don't have to go into too much detail about this, but let's say people come in and they ask for a certain type of uh, cut of meat, or they ask for brisket. Um, let me rephrase. Well, yeah, no, go ahead. Just when the customers come in, the majority of the customers ask for a moist cut brisket. Mm -hmm. They love the moist, little fatty marbled in the brisket. That's what most customers love. Okay. Um, so whenever you guys uh, serve people in brisket, you have a lot of people say, oh, you know, I can do better, better than this and better than that. You know, I can do better barbecue than this, but... Oh. <laughs> No, though, I, I have to be honest, most of the customers are really in awe of what we do every day, cooking brisket, cooking ribs. They always tell us, you know, there's no way we could reproduce this at home. Okay. Um, what makes your beef ribs so good? What, what, what makes your beef it's a, ribs it's a, it's a beef short, we use a beef short chuck rib. Salt, pepper, and oak wood, and a lot of love goes into those ribs. Uh, talk a little bit about how much you serve on a, on a daily basis. Let's say Saturday. Saturday, on a on a regular Saturday, we go through about 50 briskets, about 25 beef ribs, about 16 pork ribs. I'd say about uh, 80 to 100 pounds of sausage, about five or six turkey breasts and about 15 whole chickens. Where do you get your meat from? We get the majority of our meats from uh, Rufino Meat Service and O'Brien Meats in Taylor, Texas. Taylor, okay. Uh, have you ever run out of meat on a consistent basis or how often do you run out of meat? We make it our goal not to run out of meat. So really lately we've not run out a lot of meat. We'll run out of one meat, like we'll run out of brisket or we'll run out of ribs, but we've never run completely out all the time of any meat. Okay. Do you have a lot of repeat customers come in all the time? We do have a lot of repeat customers now and recently we've had a lot of new customers, which is great. The regulars are, you know, pretty regular, two or three times a week. So talk about your catering services. Uh, our, our catering, we're, we're getting the catering off the ground. Uh, we offer two meat, three meat plates on our catering. Uh, we can do just about anything you like. We have different varieties. It's pretty much a request based catering deal. So people tell me what they want and we do it for them. Okay. How, how big of a, uh, what's the biggest party you've ever had to serve in catering? Personally here or anywhere? Anywhere. The biggest catering job I've ever done, uh, we did IBM and it was 5,000 people. Wow. A lot of mouse feed. Yes. Okay. Uh, Should you talk a little bit about what goes on out here? Oh, outside we, we just recently had a patio for outside seating and we have washer pits outside. People have started taking advantage of it. Most people come in, they don't understand the game yet, but we explain it to them and they really enjoy doing it. Okay. Is it it's horseshoes? It's washers. Can you, 
can tell me a little bit about the, the washers. It the, what, the washers we have outside is a it's a three hole washer game. First hole one point, three point, five point. First one to twenty one without going without going without busting wins. Okay. You bust twice, you automatically lose. Is this a popular game? It's a very popular game. Very, very popular game in Texas. All right, let's see. Talk about the sauce. Why your sauce is different, or why do you decide to go with the sauce that you use versus anyone else, Rudy's, whatever? Well, originally we started out with a with a with a like a, a brand sauce, and Lance Kirkpatrick, our pit master, had a sauce recipe. We 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 tried it. We loved it. People love it. it our barbecue sauce, I think, more accents the meat than takes over the flavor of the meat. That's what makes it really good. Okay. Good. All right. I like it. Let's go. That crunchy bark on there. There's a fine line between burning that bark and you know, having it soft. You know? So talk about your, uh, as far as your dry rub. No. You know, do you trade secrets away? No, look, there's no secret. You know, I mean, I don't try to keep any secrets because everybody does a different process and everything, and there's no secret about the beef. The brisket and the beef ribs, they just get coarse ground black pepper and salt. You know, we use a little bit higher quality pepper maybe than you can find at a grocery store. We get a, a 16 mesh, mesh uh, butcher's ground. Uh, but the pork rib rub, we're kind of proud of. We all work on it together. You know, the guy that taught me how to cook ribs, we just use salt and pepper on those too. But uh, the guys here were looking for something a little different here to set us apart, you know, so everything wouldn't take, taste like black pepper, you know, like some places do. And uh, so we worked on it. Shane said he wanted salty and spicy, and he wanted a red color on the ribs. We do that, you know, throughout the morning by manipulating the wood a different way, this way or that. We're manipulating the dampers on the chimney so to hold more heat in and let more heat out. The, the weather uh, conditions pay a little bit. Some days they're, they're lined up outside. Come in here at about, I want to say, you know, six, six. Sometimes the bones will start smoking, cooking so hot. Oh wow! You can do any of this without Andy? I gotta know that. <laughs> he cooked for me at my last restaurant I had in Taylor, and then we closed that restaurant. Which I had. 